getting the interview live now with Costa, the coach of Jitter Up. Stellar performance there, 2 0 in them. Thank um, you. Well done. Um, any things to say to start off with, or anything you'd like to say? Um, they played really well on their Inferno, like unexpectedly well. Uh, not because we didn't play bad, but our 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 T side was really good. But their T side was like um, pretty. They had pretty good reads. Like they knew that we played retake B a lot, and uh, we tried to retake banana a lot. And they do some very nice pop executes where they just go on one flash that really caught uh, my players off guard. Um, and uh, we had to take like three timeouts just to win Inferno, and that's really well played by them. Yep. Well, good sportsmanship. I like it. Um, any questions in chat? I don't see any coming through specifically. I guess I'll just ask some questions. So, um, specifically, one player stood out to me. Torsen, 15-year-old. What do you think about him? Both Torsen and Stair kind of saved the game for us. Like, um, we didn't uh, we didn't expect to win train. Uh, we thought that the train was pretty good from what we've seen before in the league. Um, and Torsen had some really like impact frags. It doesn't matter what uh, how many kills he had. Like he had the most important frags on T side. Um, and Stair, he had the most important clutches for us on Inferno. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I've casted you guys a, a few times now. Um, something I've picked up on is the nade usage. You guys have really strong nade usage and well-timed executes. Um, what goes into that? Um, it's probably from me. I kind of created some structure on the team. Um, we, we have, like, our defaults, but they're set up in different phases. So if we do, like, the first part of a default, then we can do as, uh, alternatives to the second part of the default right uh so, so like we have one default and then we have like extra defaults to the default that uh equip uses to call um and it makes a lot, a lot easier like if we want let's say we play in, uh, we played against lexaro on overpass and like we we used our default to like gather information like where we could pay, put our nade stacks in and get the three kills and four or five before's yeah i've seen so many times you guys nade stack things and it works perfectly so yeah some guys said in the chat they know legit every nade in the game. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You guys have incredible flashes. It seems to work every time. Um, I mean, without giving too much away, what kind of like practice goes into... You know, what, what kind of schedule do you guys have, if, if you can? So, in terms of the time, we... is it busy or...? I think we are the prac... Oh, I can't remember. I think we prac six, now five days a week. Uh, where Sunday we prac from like uh, 3 p.m. to... Uh, 10 p.m. Um, and we try to get the like the matches against our best teams. Like we were really lucky to have a uh, to play a qualifier where we uh, f where we got a H HLTV rating, which just gave us access to a a lot of good prac groups, and they have been really beneficial to um, our prac schedule. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've heard you guys beat Esparta in a qualifier. Um, I I heard that from sources. Um, sixteen A on Vertigo, maybe in the best of. I one. think I think that's a lie. We haven't played a spot a day if um, they dropped out of the playoffs. Oh, okay. Well, are there any teams you're worried about? It, it's Masonic. Oh yeah, Masonic. Yeah, yeah. Um, Masonic is like a top fifteen. I think the top eleven in Denmark. Yeah. And we took like a map home, but that was before I joined the team. Okay. Well, I have a question from chat. What impact does Kval have in terms of mid round calling and knowledge? Kval isn't uh, really calling as much, but he brings uh, like a lot of uh, uh, experience. Like he's an old veteran from uh, 1.6. Uh, of course, he does also uh, uh, come uh, come with some mid round calling because he's one of the, our. He plays in most of our flanks, and the. I've like, uh, or we tried to make him an anchor player, and he's played that really well. Like, um, we, I had like to, some const uh, constructive uh, critique. I, I don't know how you say it in English. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, and uh, I, I told her, I gave, I told him to want to do one thing once, and he just 
started owning after that. Yeah. It was uh, it was pretty good. Nice. Um, again, keep putting any questions you have in chat. Hopefully in English, if possible. Um, just because I can't speak Danish, unfortunately. I'm an uncultured man. Um, what kind of tournaments do you guys have coming up other than this Danish league and ECA? Any specifics or? Um, right now we're just focusing on the playoffs on ECA and uh, uh, El Giganten League and um, because we ha like we have we have one more league we're playing uh, metal, metal, metal league is a Danish league too uh, and we ch we're trying to finish that up we're like in the semi-finals for that now um, but after that we're just gonna really focus on the playoffs and just prac really we we need to get more prac in and uh, improve our map pool because um, what we saw today on, on Inferno was of course they played well but we also made a lot of mistakes like we had the read on some of the times where they would put that specific execute i mentioned in yeah. but we still lost to it okay fair enough i mean w what are you looking to do from esc are you looking for main or are you looking for advanced i know it's a bit of a uh, the first uh, our first goal was to reach uh, intermediate but uh, apparently we did a lot better than expected and we're still doing quite well like we're beating some good teams so uh, the goal is probably now main and after that probably top eight to get some cash yeah fair enough um chet bear says any permabans you are not working on at all uh right now we don't really have a permaban because we haven't discussed our entire map pool yet uh but right now we feel like we can play anything we're trying to copy astralis map pool but we we can play anything Okay, strong. I like it. Uh, jitter up to the major? Question <laughs> mark. Maybe in a few years. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I guess we'll go with the final question. Um, if you had to um, place any kind of specific on it, what what would you say makes the team work best? Is it the team environment? Is it the skill? Is it the time and the effort? Uh think it's it's a mix between uh, professionalism from both the uh, the organization that we're part of and uh, the players themselves like they invest a lot of time like also their free time on the game and the uh, manager is supporting us and giving us all the tools we need to like and they're, they're scheduling the games for us so we don't have to and it really takes a lot of stress off uh, like say Quib and me yeah so we can focus on improving our game all right, I like it. Well, I think we'll close things up here. Uh, thanks for tuning into the games. Well played. Good job on your win to get again today. Um, Thank you. I'm sure you guys can. It's the finals, right? Tomorrow. Yes. So tune in for that. Um, whether I'll be casting it, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, good luck for that. Best of luck going forward, man. Well played today. Thank you. Peace.